And if you keep you keep an eye on our speed, the speed is dropping. We're, we're hitting the thicker part of the atmosphere now. The speed's going to start dropping precipitously. We're going to start getting to, to transonic pretty soon. And then after that, we'll get into subsonic, where we're, we're moving less than the speed of sound. But wow, what a light show so far. External temperatures are starting to come down. Again, this camera view is looking right at one of the, the forward flaps. And we're, we're strategically putting some cameras around the vehicle to just look at the, the different areas. That, ooh, looks like we got the flap starting to come apart a little. Yeah, it does appear that we have a little bit of burn through there. We can see pieces of the vehicle flying off. What a show it has been. It's been like watching Interstellar or something. <laughs> this is wild to see this, but the ship is still coming down, which is incredible to see. How far can it go? That is the question. Keep your eye on the altitude in the bottom right-hand corner. We're at 54 kilometers right now. Now, ultimately, the data is the payload today. We've been saying it multiple times. We're the, you know, our teams are, are sitting, uh, reviewing this data live, learning where the hot spots are. As you can see, there's an <laughs> obvious hot spot there with the flap, um, and learning how we can improve this design. The goal was to get as far through this high, uh, this high heat reentry as possible. Ideally, we'd love to make it all the way down and perform <laughs> that, uh, that landing burn and flip maneuver, but we may not get that far today. We will see. Again, this is a test, and we are gathering as much data as possible, visual data as well, which we can see here. We are getting a lot of debris covering the camera on your screen, but we can still see some of those sparks and flames from that high heat as ship is making its way back down to Earth. 